It seems Qantas just can't catch a break. Its share price has plunged 11% in one month after all that bad news. Now, the ACCC says it wants to end a partnership between Qantas and China Eastern Airlines, which it's been allowing since 2015. That deal allowed both airlines to coordinate their passenger and cargo flights between Australia and China. The competition watchdog says their ongoing cooperation might breach competition laws and lead to higher prices. The share market also travelled higher today, up by at least 1.3 per cent each. And over the week, the ASX and All Lords have risen by a solid 1.7 per cent. Today's gains were mainly driven by miners as commodity prices rose off the back of some Chinese economic figures, which were actually good for a change. Our biggest trading partner revealed that its retail sales and industrial production went up by around 4.5% compared to a year ago. And China has cut the amount of cash that its banks need to hold in a boost to lift consumer spending. Overseas, Wall Street was boosted by tech stocks. In particular, a smartphone chip design company called Arm, which surged 25% on its first day of trade, while European stocks jumped after the European Central Bank lifted interest rates but hinted it might be the last one. In commodities, gold and iron ore prices have risen, and Brent crude oil has jumped above 94 US dollars a barrel, which is a 10 month high. So it's not good news if you're praying for petrol prices to get cheaper. And finally, the Aussie dollar has risen to 64.7 US cents. And that's finance.